So many of you want to crack the gate examination in the first attempt. Uh, many of you might be giving the gate examination for the second time or third time and it may be possible that it is your last time and uh, after that uh, you have already promised to your parents or your friends or yourself that it is going to be my last attempt and if I am not able to crack this time then I will look forward for any other option. And I am sure that because the gate exam is almost two and a half months left and uh, you are giving uh, most of the time of your daily life uh, to the gate examination with the books okay but still you are not able to memorize the formulas you are not able to recall the concepts while you are giving the test series you are not able to score more because you are somewhere missing the concepts or formulas so i'm sure that uh, it is not your fault completely there are some tips and there are some hacks that you should know when you are preparing for any exam and if you are preparing for any big exam like gate okay so here i'm going to tell you what are the five special tips that will help you to become a topper if you are spending the time seven and eight hours every day and still you are not able to recall that means the problem is with your revision technique the way you are revising the things the way you are revising the concepts are somewhere not correct way so what you have to do so note these five special points the first point is your active recall so whenever you read any topic so you have to pretend to teach so you have to be like you are teaching to someone and when you are teaching someone then don't look at the book or the notes and speak it loudly right so because when we were kid uh, we still able to memorize or uh, recall those some rhymes that we have learned in our childhood days why it happened because we used to keep it uh, we used to say it loudly and we used to keep it revising when in our uh, school days and we have presented it to our parents we have presented it to our teachers so we have actually taught someone we have spoken this to in front of someone else so that is why it is still in our mind so similarly if you follow the active recall procedure then definitely the formula and the concepts will be with you for a longer time why a teacher can remember everything for a longer time even he does not teach for the six month one year still he is uh, able to solve the problems he is still able to tell you the concepts the reason is because when whenever he taught to the students or whenever he used to teach uh, he used to teach in the louder way okay uh, he speaks in front of the uh, 70 50 10 students he is teaching to someone else so that is why it is still in his mind so likewise if you uh, if you want to uh, keep this concept and formula in your mind for a longer time then you have to pretend to teach to someone the second way you can say is solve 10 to 15 year questions because we all know that there are a vast syllabus of gate and there are some topics which are more important than the others when you solve the 10 to 15 year questions you will get an idea that which are the topics those are very frequently asked so read those concepts and solve the questions related to those concepts in the last 15 years 20 years if you can okay so this will be the second tip that a topper follows now the third one is relax your mind whenever you feel stress listen some music that can motivate you because we generally get panic in in the last time in the last two three months and suppose if the exam is left for uh, around six to seven months our mind was relaxed so try to do that when your mind was relaxed six to seven months ago try to give you the uh, give yourself a uh, signal that you have to study otherwise you will be behind or your rank will be just go around thousand uh, five thousand so on and if because the exam is near now so how you can relax your mind how you can send the signal to your brain that just yes i have prepared well enough and whatever i have prepared i will give my best with this preparation and in this way you can relax your mind because you have already worked hard for the last one year or maybe six months okay so the fourth tip is avoid i uh, means avoid not avoid the fourth tip is especially actually um, whenever you read any concept so if you have understood that concept well enough then you will be able to teach that in a very simple language you don't need to use a hard language the tough language generally we think that if we are from the engineering background so if we don't use the uh, perfect technology terminal uh, 
terminology related to that particular part then we will uh, someone will say that he does not know anything about that particular concept because he is not using the complicated words right so but it, it does not happen uh, einstein also says that uh, if you have understood the concept very well then you will be able to explain it with the very simple language so if you have understood any concept then you will be able to teach that with in a simple language that a layman can also understand so the class 5 student can also understand you have to be uh, you have to be so perfect to explain that concept if you have already understood why a teacher can make the concept simple for you because when he studies something when he read con any concept any new concepts he teaches you in a very simple manner and it becomes very easy for you so that you have to follow for yourself also and the fifth if if you don't uh, follow this particular fifth tip then all the fourth tip will be waste because you have to be a uh, our brain is the fifth point is actually i should say you should not do multitasking okay what do you mean by the multitasking while you are reading don't uh, watch any short or something because it takes some times for our brain to switch from the uh, that previous what you have watched to the present situation uh, it uh, it keeps on thinking about the last work you have done so that is why you have to your approach should be monastic approach that means you have to be with the single uh, task when you are reading something when you are studying something then your uh, intensity should be very high okay whenever you read read it for one hour but just uh, forget everything around you and read that particular concept or solve those numericals in the very focused manner and then take a break and then you again go back to the study then only you will be very good in uh, recalling the concepts and with the concept uh, with the formulas also okay so according to me uh, these are the five special tips for a topper so if you want to become a topper try these five hacks for the next one week and let me know whether you are getting benefit or not thank you